Well, welcome back. We've come a long way in setting up our site. And in this video, what I'm going to start doing is creating a simple contact information form for this website. So we're going to create a completely new page, but we're going to base that page on the template that we uh, created in an earlier video. So I'm going to go ahead and close my index page here, and I'm going to go to File, New and you're going to see there's my site and there's my main template and I'm going to go ahead and create that. I'm going to make sure that it says update page when the template changes and I'll just click create there and we have a new page to work with in our website. I'll go ahead and go to file and save and I'm going to save this as contact.html And I'm going to go ahead and type some information in here. Go ahead and highlight that and go ahead and type contact us here. And that's, I'm just going to go ahead and remove some of this text here and these images. So we don't need those on this page. And type some information here. Thank you for your interest. Please send us comments using the form below. And I'll save that and now we're ready to actually create the form. So to put a form on a page you're going to need to go to the insert menu and select the form option. And the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to select form right here. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a form definition area on your page it won't add any fields. We're going to add the fields later. So I'm going to go ahead and select form there and you're going to see in Dreamweaver I get a red dotted area there. And that's my form. So I need to place all the fields that I want in this form. Now there's a couple different ways to lay out your forms. You can uh, lay out your forms using a table or you can lay out your forms using a CSS. I'm assuming that you don't have very much experience with CSS in this class. So we're going to go ahead and lay out this form using a table. In the CSS videos, once you've taken and gone through the uh, basic CSS videos, we'll have a set of videos on laying out forms with CSS as opposed to laying them out with tables. But our form is basically going to have two columns and a multitude of rows. The first column is going to have the label for the actual field and the second column is going to have the actual field that people type information into. And again, there are different ways to do this, so you'll see in other videos um, different, possibly better ways to lay this out. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Insert and Table and I'm going to say that this is going to have two rows and two columns. I'm going to make the form take up 100% of the available space on the screen. I'm not going to place a border on it. I am going to, however, place a little bit of padding just to space things out. So I'm going to go ahead and do 5 pixels of padding and 0 pixels of spacing. In this case, it actually would not matter whether I did padding or spacing as 5 here. They'll do um, exactly the same thing. In other cases, it may matter though. This just happens to be a case where either would work. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And there is my table. Now I'm going to need more than two rows, but I can simply add those rows by continuing to type. So I'm going to go ahead here and type first name hit tab a couple times and then last name and when I hit tab a couple times you're going to see it brings me up an extra row for me to put information in. I'm going to go ahead and say phone, email, comments and then I'm going to leave an extra row for my submit button right there. Now you can see my table structure right here. I'm going to go ahead and point at that dividing line in between these and I'm just going to go ahead and drag that on over so it's a little bit more evenly spaced. I'll save my page and now I'm going to go ahead and click in the first row for first name. I'm going to go ahead and go to the insert button here and I'm going to select form and I want a text field and this is going to be for the most part 
the uh, largest used field that you're going to create. So I'll click text field there. I need to give it an ID. So the ID is going to be first name. I'm going to leave the label blank. Actually, I'm going to select no label from right here because we've created our label in our outside um, um, column, in our first column. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you'll see we placed a form field in there. I'm going to do the exact same thing for last name. Insert, form, text field. The ID is going to be last name. And I'm going to select no label tag. We'll do phone here. And that's going to be phone is going to be the ID and no label tag. And then we'll do email. Type in the ID for it. No label. OK. Now what we have next is this comments area. And we want a larger area for our individuals to type in comments. So I'm going to go to insert form. And instead of selecting text field, I'm going to select text area. And the ID for this is going to be comments. And again, I'm not going to place any um, label on this. I'll click OK. And now you can see I have a comments field. Finally, we're going to need to place a submit button at the bottom for when people are finished with our form. So I'm going to go ahead here and go to Insert Form. And I'm going to select Button. And the ID of this is going to be Submit. And I won't put a label on it. You'll see the way that works. I'll click OK. And we now have a Submit button there. Now you can always go ahead and add um, more fields to this form. I'm going to go ahead and right click on my last um, field there. I'm going to select Table and Insert Row. And that inserted a blank row there for me. And here I'm going to go ahead and click in that right hand column. I'm going to go to Insert Form. And I want a checkbox. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And the ID for this is going to be Newsletter. And the label I'm going to go ahead and type out. Um, send me your monthly newsletter. And I'm going to say attach using the for attribute because I do want this to appear. I'll click OK. And there is my checkbox with the label attached to it. So we've got a nice form here set up. In our next video, we're going to go ahead and, um, and actually, you know what, this is really close to the bottom here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to click outside of my table and hit enter once just to give me a little bit more space there. And then I'll save that. What we're going to do in our next video is we're actually going to go in and hook up this form to a script so that we can actually receive the contact information in our email.